Terra Luna Classic has confirmed a reversal. We are back on the way up from the dump that happened after the March high in this market. And how far are we going to go? Well, according to CoinGape, we're about to burn $60 million worth of Luna Classic. I don't know where this comes from. We're going to talk about this article. This is not something that I think is really going to happen, but we're going to look at it as kind of a uh, an idea, if you will. And I think that somebody's just kind of <clears throat> clickbaiting. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Let's kick it off. All right. So uh, can the $60 million Avalanche buyback ignite a Terra Luna Classic price rally? This is a weird sort of question to ask because Avalanche, what does it have to do with Terra Luna Classic? And the answer, as you kind of scroll down here, um, it is basically subjective. If $60 million from AVX buyback is used to burn long, the price will surge beyond 3015. So basically what he's saying is, hey, um, do you have an extra $60 million? Because if you did, you could buy a bunch of tokens from Terra Luna Classic and burn them and thus increase the value for everybody else. Now, there's no foundation. There's no avalanche foundation. There's no reason to think that any of this is going to happen. However, uh, it is important to, you know, if we as a community came together, there could be potentially a significant amount of burn that we could do before the burns from Terraform Labs, which we anticipate to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $274 billion, which is twice already what we've already burned. So there's a significant amount here that 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 we're talking about. And, you know, if we uh, jump the gun on it, if you will, we could actually turn that into something a lot bigger. But I don't think that we have the funds in an Oracle pool or anything like that. I don't think anybody was forward thinking enough um, as a foundation to put us in a position for that type of success with a buyback and burn. So uh, I think what we're going to have to do is just take a pass on that. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's move on. Commonwealth has a proposal from Orbit Labs, the review uh, of reverse charge tax handling on Terra Classic. Now, if you are not familiar, uh, we were talking about tax to gas. Tax to gas seems to be pretty much dead. Genuine Labs is no longer... Uh, around. We haven't heard from them in a while. Uh, they don't seem to be doing anything, uh, including communicating with anybody. Um, now, uh, it, it should be noted who vouched for them, who created, um, uh, who gave them purpose, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, adjust your validating accordingly. Now, Orbit Labs proposes to review and assist with the implementation of the reverse charge. If you don't know what reverse charge, this is Happy Caddy Crypto and Strathcole who got together to work on this proposal. Uh, Strathcole and Happy Caddy Crypto have proposed a new reverse charge mechanism for simplified tax handling. The important thing is simplified tax handling handling so that dApps can be built on this ecosystem. So uh, it's in-depth review of the reverse charge mechanism and fix the upcoming testing. Uh, the budget for this is going to be 2,500 USD. A spend proposal will be made with the lunk amount equivalent to the dollar amount at the time the work is completed. So uh, that's where it is. Um, uh, they are, by the way, KYC and certified already. And um, yeah, so this is going to come up for a proposal. When it does, uh, you vote your conscience and decide. And if the people that you validate with vote opposite you, validate with people who support your belief. Uh, very, very simple. So let's move on. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Uh, Commonwealth, uh, I'm sorry, Coin Hall is showing that the Trump lunk pairing right here, this Trump token uh, is up 80% on the day. Fun is up 105% on the day. Uh, good pairing opportunity. And Juris is continuing its surge. And if we look at these, Juris up to 120. Juris is continuing. He dropped a zero the other day and is just continuing to surge. And look at this cat with hat doing the same thing. Now up to 110. So uh, shout out to Juris. Shout out to cat with hat for making it happen. Boys retraced just a little bit, but it's still kind of in that range where, you know, maybe it just absolutely explodes at some point. We'll see what happens. Um, food, also having a little bit of a surge. Uh, the rest of them, not exactly, still a little bit underwater on those. But we are having good moves there. Let me know which one is your favorite meme coin in the comments down below. Governance proposals that are up right now are dealing with the coin market cap and other listings. That's supposed to be for all nodes. You can see that it is passing basically with flying colors at this point. Uh, will it will it pass? I think so. I, I don't think that there's any reason for any nodes right now. But um, uh, the updated links to CMC and other platforms, you're getting some yes, you're getting some no. 
uh, you're getting some no with veto, um, and then you've got some abstain. So we'll see how this kind of weighs out. Doesn't look like it's going to pass here. 30% um, to the yes, 60% uh, to the no right now. So um, are these links good or are they bad? Well, um, it, it I don't think it matters whether they're good or bad. I think this is just an instance in which Jesus is Lord is just going to vote no, no matter what, because he didn't like how anybody went about it to begin with. So, um, and by the way, obscurity is how a grift continues. So if you are able to get people into a situation in which there can be no progress or improvement and you are profiting off of that situation, you are not incentivized to change that situation at all. And I'm not saying that that is or is not the case. I'm just saying that you should be aware that that is the case. Now, if you want the socials updated and changed uh, and the links to CoinMarketCap and other platforms to be updated. And by the way, uh, the reason that some of these people might be voting no on it is because there is another proposal up which says that all nodes will take care of that. So maybe they're just saying we don't need to update it because all nodes would do that if approved and if all nodes has agreed to it. So, uh, it, you know, I, I, again, I, I I have problems with some of these guys and some of these validators, but in, in this instance, I, the, the question is, can you understand where they're coming from? If they're coming from the place that I think, then I can certainly understand that. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's move on to price action. As you can see, we're still in the trend line that we were in before. The market's down about $17 billion on the day, uh, which means that that usually means alt and memes and stuff like that are probably taking a little bit of a bath. There's probably going to be some outliers. Uh, that Trump MAGA token probably going to continue to surge. Uh, I would think a billion market cap, something like that, uh, before uh, before the election. Uh, going down the list here, um, yeah, the Trump is the only one that's up really on the day. And Ty, XRP having a little bit of a surge. Injective protocol having a little bit of a surge. ASM, assemble, assemble protocol, uh, still having a, a bit of a surge. Arrow having a little bit of a surge. So, eh, you know, there, there's, there's a few of them out there. Uh, but generally speaking, there's not a whole lot going on. Now, trending at the bottom of this channel, uh, to me, seems like a bad sign. Okay, now it, it also happened over here. But then we got a big surge, which took us up into this range right here. So is it really a bad thing? Well, I don't know that it really is. You know, I, I do think that I would like to see a surge back up to the top. However, if you just consider most of the time we're spent down here at the bottom of the channel. Now, even though that, even though, look, we've continued to mint, this is, this is an indicator right here uh, of a reversal right here and then right here and then right here and then right here and then right here we're continuing in an upward pattern okay so that is a bullish indicator and means that the reversal is in because you know you look at this one 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 and this one that was obviously a bearish indicator and price was coming down precipitously so we have reversed the pattern and the question is how far can we run and can we get back into some of these previous ranges now um, i do think that the answer to that is a resounding yes i think we're going to see that actually uh, towards the end of this month or the first week of next month i do think that it is on tap and it is getting ready to happen so i'm just waiting patiently to see what it looks like when it happens so you let me know what you think do you think the price is gonna i think it's gonna 3x i think we're gonna be looking at um uh this 88 33 9 going up to three zeros 23 22 25 somewhere in that neighborhood i think we're gonna get a nice big wick Let's talk about what matters with Cryptonomy.finance. In 2024, we're prioritizing partnerships in synthetic assets and decentralized exchanges, enhancing our investment portfolio with innovative financial solutions and broader diversification opportunities. Also, Cryptonomy Ventures drives significant returns by identifying and supporting high potential early stage ventures. Our entire financial team is engaged in scaling the selection process globally, ensuring we back companies poised for success and preparedness for market volatility. In light of the rapidly changing global landscape, our team has developed comprehensive plans to navigate upcoming events in the cryptocurrency market, regardless of the direction they may take. Given the number of significant political and economic developments that can create a sharp shift in the market, we are prepared for volatility in any form. If you understand me, you understand XRP. You'll see how many stakes I have on XRP. We're going to run this back one more time. All right, guys, that's been created. 
this is where the big yield comes from. We're going to add to this a new position here. You can see here, one of mine has completed so far. We're going to create a new contract. We're putting half a Bitcoin into our bronze level, which is a 50-50 profit sharing split. And now we're playing with power. Now guys, I just want you to look at the yields that have been happening for the last little while. EigenPi was a 12X, Metavirus was a 2X, Trax was a 2X, Omnia was a 4X, StormTrade was a 2X. These guys are getting you big yields and big returns on every single investment. All you have to do is give them an opportunity. Go to Cryptonomy.Finance and sign up today. Now, there is uh, an active giveaway which is available for every new deposit in fixed staking or in the launch pool contract until November 1st. So the official announcement is from today until November 1st, for every fixed staking deposit of 1,000 USDT or more launch pool contract created within this period, participants will receive a random bonus of 50 to 5,000 USD credited in the native token of the deposit. So if you deposit some XRP, you're going to get XRP as your reward. You deposit some Bitcoin, you're going to get Bitcoin as your reward. So all you have to do, make a deposit or create a launch pool contract, enjoy your staking benefits, and receive a random bonus directly to your deposit. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Sign up for cryptonomy.finance today. Out of it and see something impressive, if you will, start to happen. So again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, volume up 22% to 22 million, uh, but the market cap is down. Ter uh, USTC, on the other hand, uh, volume is up 231% and continuing to surge, by the way, and the market cap continues to go up just a little bit on the day. It's not exploding, but it is going up. Um, as far as the rest of it goes, there's a lot of blah, blah, blah going on on, on Twitter. There always is. Um, Lunk Dash, if you want to track the votes, go to Lunk Dash. You can see what's going on over there. The burns are $230 million over the last seven days. There was about $20 million burn so far today, so... Um, you know, maybe we'll see a continuation of a decent amount of burn. It's not, it's not fantastic. Uh, it's not great, but it's good. And if we can continue to have those kind of burns every single day, then you know, eventually that adds up to quite a bit. Um, it's not huge. We should, we should at least acknowledge that. If we had about ten times the volume that we currently have, and we will when we get to the the bull. If we had ten times the volume, then we'd be talking about two billion every day. Just consider that as a number. Uh, we'd have two two billion every seven days. Plus, we'd have uh, an enormous, you know, five or ten billion from Binance every month. So it would get significant at a certain point. But we do need to see uh, retail really return. And I saw a statistic that told me that you know, at at in March, February, and March of this year, Coinbase was the number twenty app downloaded on the app store today it's number 440 now that means that retail is simply not into crypto right now and that market makers are the ones that are doing this so that retail that retail will return to crypto and they will return fairly soon but the question is when and how much well they always return that's what happens uh that's what the bull run is all about they they will return and this thing will take off. So just a little patience from you will go a long way towards satisfying your need for a big profit. Now, as far as uh, stake bin goes, you can see right here, again, 20 million, 20 million tokens burned for the day. Just very, very little USTC. We're seeing something a little bit, you know, just drying up as it is right now. Uh, now, let me talk some real quick about before we go into uh, the, the 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 points here, and that point going to be Terra Finance and Terra Casino. Let me uh, our TerraPort.Finance and Terra Casino. Let me talk to you about a few things here. So I want you guys to see you know what's being built in this ecosystem and and around here. First of all, you've got an order book uh, for the Elbun project, so you can now set yourself limit orders if you want to buy Luna Classic or uh, associated projects. Uh, all you have to do is click on order book .tech slash order book and boom get started right away and that's of course uh, uh run by the base token which of course is auto staked for you um so check it out don't forget rocket defense is uh launching 
There's less than 24 hours to go. It's closing today, Rocket Defense. Make sure that you play. Make sure that you win some prizes. Make sure you win some rewards. $150 is the giveaway right now worth of Rocket Tokens. $100 and $75 for first, second, and third. Also, uh, not to be outdone, Air Force Lunk is out here. All you have to do is log in, and of course, you can start playing this. It's more along the lines, if you will, of 1945 or 1942 or one of those old uh, top-down scroller uh, space flying games. And, but it's built in this ecosystem. Not only is that, but Terra Tritium. Terra Tritium is more of a, a city building sort of sim uh, defense game. So, uh, and, and by the way, it's real time PVP for you if you are interested. So there's a lot being built in these ecosystems. So I would at least posit to you, take some time to go look at some of these video games and see really if any of them resonate with you and get you excited for this ecosystem. And if they do, invest in these projects. And in order to invest in these projects, first of all, you got to risk it for the biscuit. Uh, Terra Casino, uh, Pragmatic Play giving away 11000 from now per day from now until October 27. Um, World Poker League giving away 2 million euros uh, from now until December 22nd. And then you can use whatever tokens that you want to use in order to do those wagers. And there's always new games that are being thrown in here like Glow Dig, Dynamite Dig, and Dug. Plenty of different ones that you can go check out at any time. And as you can see, there's a lot of people out here doing a lot of wagering to... Um, uh, Take a shot, if you will. Uh, Los Muertos Loco, uh, Los Muertos Locos, right now is available. Uh, make you, it could not, it might be available in your region. You'll have to check and see uh, by trying to play the game once you've logged in and connected. So, um, uh, and then with that, Terraport.finance. If you are interested in meme coins, go. This is where you go and where you get them. And I've got my urn set up here. 14 days left. I've earned 201 Terra so far. Remember, uh, Terra has finished their compensation package. Most of the people took the vesting process by majority. So we're going to be seeing a slow rollout of compensation from the hack that happened over a year ago. I believe it was June of last year when the staking pool got hacked. So uh, there's a great opportunity here for you to grab a little bit and not have to worry about a lot of dumping of the price. Uh, that vesting process is going to take you into the, the full-on bull run. So, um, you know, if you were to stake right now for about 90 days or 180 days, you'd be very secure. Uh, now you can't because it's sold out, but you'd be very secure in that, you know, you're going to have a, a real good opportunity to earn a high yield. Terra probably takes off at that point. Uh, so, you know, what are you waiting for? Go check it out today. That's it, guys. That's my time. Look, um, there's a lot of drama still going on in this ecosystem. Um, there, there's people just randomly posting on Luna Classic how much they hate one person or the other because they can't stop themselves, can't control themselves. They got boundary issues. They got look. We're all we all have different opinions about where Luna Classic should go, and uh, we, in order to justify our own stance, tend to turn our quote unquote villain into a nefarious person. Uh, like the other day. I said something about Happy Caddy Crypto because he was talking about Vegas. I don't know Vegas. I'm not here to defend Vegas. I don't care about Vegas one way or another. Um, the fact that he's in Luna Classic means that, you know, in my eyes, he's my brother because you guys are and Happy Caddy Crypto is. But I don't have to agree all the time with everybody. So I said that he was wrong that it was not Vegas that did it. It was Terraform Labs. And I got my information from Mr. Diamond Hits. And, you know, through that all, they still don't like Vegas. And you can see that. And there were still attacks on Vegas. Um, because, by the way, Vegas has a belief that he knows how to improve this system. And maybe he does. But he doesn't like to go through governance because he knows that there are some people in here that will just vote no to his proposals because they don't like him without thinking it through, without using logic, or while thinking that he has some kind of nefarious purpose or something like that. Is that true? Probably not. Um, is it possible that it's true? Probably. Um, but <laughs> we're all in the same team, and sometimes we forget that. So I hope that going forward, we start to get reminded that, you know, in fact, we are all in the same gang, and just because we don't agree 100% of the time doesn't mean that we're not all going to the same part of Valhalla when crypto explodes and Luna Classic really, really takes off. But again, I, I'm not sure. I just, I have an opinion about stuff, and I give you my opinion every day. Um, so that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in.
And I hope that we can all just get along. Uh, but this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you again tomorrow.